Essentials Decor and DIY video. I could not be more excited. I love fall. I love the weather. I love the leaves changing. Just everything is so perfect. Let me take my bracelets off because they're annoying. I have things in here like my favorite candles and what I like to wear and some DIY decor to make your room feel a little more full. I'm so excited. I worked really hard on this video. It was my first official video, so I really hope you guys like it. I want to keep this intro short and sweet, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So my first essential is going to be candles. I just have two from Bath & Body Works, Marshmallow Fireside and Winter. And then I have two from Michael's, they're sugar cookie and apple cinnamon. And they were actually only two for $9 and they smell so good. So I definitely recommend those. So my next essential would definitely have to be some oversized flannels. I just got mine from my local thrift store, they're super cheap. If you just go into the guy section, you can literally find so many. And I just paired them with my boots. I think they're from Kohl's, I don't really remember. If I find them, I'll definitely link them down below. But this is totally a go-to for me in the fall. It's super comfy and so easy. So next I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own background. What I did first was search Tumblr fall and find a bunch of pictures that I liked. Once you search that you'll find like leaves and pumpkins and things like that. You're just going to save them to your computer. And then what you want to do is find how big your screen is. On a Mac it's up in the corner on the Apple. And then you're going to hit display and it'll show you how big your screen is right there. Then once you figure that out you're going to want to go on to pickmonkey.com. You're going to hit collage and load in your pictures. And then you're going to go to the bottom and it's going to have the measurements. You just type in however big you found your screen was. And then you just drag your pictures right into it and rearrange them how you want. After I do that, I like to go into the bottom. It looks like a little painter's wheel. And then I just like to fix up the spacing how I want. And then that's it. It looks super cute. And if you leave it open in your room, it just adds a lot. Next, I'm going to be making this little DIY basket. I just took some potpourri, some fake leaves, and a little pumpkin, and that's it. It was super cheap. It cost me like under $5, and I got all my supplies from Michael's, and then I just sat it on my table and surrounded it with fake leaves, and it looked super cute. So my next two DIYs are super easy you guys. All I did was just take a mason jar and just put some potpourri in it and tied a burlap string around it and that's it. It was super easy, super cheap, and so cute. For the next one I just took a smaller mason jar and just added some fake leaves in it to add a pop of color. And then I just tied a burlap string around it and that was it. Build a bridge and light up a match. Trying hard not to lose you in the smoke. You say you want to stay for just another day And we're standing on the land so next I'm going to be showing you guys how I just changed my room a little bit for fall. I just added some tan pillows and a throw blanket. I really think that changing your bedding adds a lot to your room. And then since I don't have a headboard, I just strung some Christmas lights behind my bed. And then I took this leaf garland and kind of wrapped around the lights. And then if you don't even have garland or just ran out of garland like I did, I just took these fake leaves from the dollar store. Just make sure they have stems and then you can kind of just wrap them around the Christmas lights like I showed you here. It just kind of makes it look more full. And that's it. I feel like it added a lot to my room and I love the colors. It just looks so pretty. If I don't, I'll be coming home So if you thought that that was a little too plain, I'm going to show you how I made this DIY pillow. I just took some rose gold paint you can get from any Michaels or any craft store. And then I took some mini leaves you can get from any dollar store as well. 
and I literally just painted them. I did do one coat and I waited about 45 minutes and I didn't really like it. It was a little too see-through for me so I did do a second coat but you can do whatever you want or any color you want. And then this is how they turned out and I really like the color. It was nice and shiny. And then I just placed them on my pillow. I'm just using the back of an old pillow that I had. The other side just has a design on it. And then I just hot glued them down. And you really want to make sure that at the end you get all the little edges because you don't want them to start peeling up. It just won't look good. And then this is how it turned out. enjoyed and got some ideas for this season of fall I know it's ending but let's just make it last a little longer okay I don't want it to end definitely follow me on Twitter Instagram like me on Facebook you can add me on snapchat I will be posting on there more frequently definitely look forward to the next videos I'm so excited to start Christmas videos I love Christmas it's my favorite holiday and I'm definitely gonna have some cute snacks and room decor and things like that for you guys also you can subscribe if you want to see more of my face I will definitely be posting as much as I can I'm going for once a week right now. Like I said, I am finishing school in January, so I will be doing more videos more frequently then. It is hard now to balance everything, so I'm trying my best for you guys. I love this. It's my passion. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.